Hello, I'm back uh, with another video showing this uh, tapping of the bucking coils or the uh, Ed Lead Scalnin um, effect type thing here. Um, again, it happens at a lower frequency and um, the impedance isn't as um, isn't critical. I've done it with bigger wire, like I said in my last video. Now again, uh, my, co my coils are wound in opposite directions, uh, like I talked about in the last video. Maybe have a better look at the, um, at the diagrams. My other video was pretty poor, my apologies. Uh, my apologies for the length as well, had a lot to, to show there. But um, the motor rotor accelerates and uses less uh, current. Uh, when the pickup coil is loaded but I just wanted to show an effect here something pretty weird I'll show the effect again but I uh, wanted to show uh, the AC output now I have the AC from the little pickup coil showing the speed amp draw going into the uh, DC motor um, I have uh, an amp meter on the output from this coil after the bridge rectifier um, I'll short it out to show you there's no difference um, this is a good load it shows the effect and it's no different from shorting it out totally or using a light bulb or anything um, and then I have a uh, an AC meter on the coils uh, before the switch make sure it's off I just made a video and it was on and screwed the whole thing up so anyways I'm going to start it up show the effect and um, then I'm going to show you something weird about the um, the voltage coming off of these coils because when I had this idea and I was building it uh, to show the idea I actually was expecting a DC current for some reason I was expecting maybe off of here it shows up on the AC side but it also shows up on the DC side which I, I think is very interesting but again, there, it produces, when there's a load put on here, uh, the back EMF uh, is inverse to lens. So let's get it going. Show the effect. Uh, again, this is the amp draw going into the DC motor. Here's the AC volts before the switch in those two coils. The amp output measurement after the bridge rectifier. There we go. So we're getting 13 and a half Drawing. Let's get it going a little, just a touch faster. Now it's not dependent on frequency. Oh, turn that down there. All right, we'll just let it settle down a little bit. So the coils are making 16, going up a little bit. We'll let it settle. I've got the AC speed measuring over here. Let's turn it down. I want to say uh, the the effect isn't dependent so much on the wire size um, or the frequency, except that in the sense that you need enough voltage. For whatever wire size you have or are using, you need enough voltage or current in those coils to, to create the effect, right? To create the inverse lens magnetic field, however it's doing it exactly. You know, I have ideas, but um, that's what it depends on is that voltage right there not so much the impedance of the coil or necessarily the frequency so we've settled I think at 16 and a half volts on the coil AC coil measurement 
four and a half on our little speed coil and it's pulling 0.39 amps. So I'm going to flip the switch now and you'll hear it speed up. There you go. It's increasing its speed. And our little pickup coil is showing that. It's still increasing. Oh, there it goes up. I can hear it increasing, but... Our amp draw has gone down to the motor. This is technically... Um, shorted in through this meter. I'm getting uh, 0 0.06 DC amps on here. I want to show, I'm going to go on this uh, AC coil. I'm going to short this out completely. So here we're shorting it. Shorted it out, it's not going through the meter anymore. And we're going the same speed. It doesn't affect, it, it, what I'm trying to show is, is that this meter is okay for showing the effect. But there you go, there's the effect. I wanted to show with just uh, these bigger coils before I tear it totally apart. I'm going to be um, filling my other wheel up um, with bigger coils. I'm going to combine those other two. But one last thing I wanted to show is that... Uh, here, I want to flip the switch off. And you can hear it decreasing speed quite a bit actually. The speed over here showing on that little AC on that little coil is decreasing. You could hear it decrease. But I wanted to show this voltage here. This is the AC voltage of the coils prior to the switch. The switch is off. The AC voltage, right? And it sits at 16 and a half for how fast it's going right now. But I wanted to show this. It shows up on both sides of the meter. Oh. I just broke it. <laughs> nice. Okay. So I'm on the lowest DC setting now. And there's nothing wrong with this meter other than I just broke the stand off of it. I've tried this before and tested it with other meters. But it blinks back and forth on the DC side, as well as showing on the AC side, which I thought was really interesting, um, that it blinks back and forth like this on the DC side. Pretty cool. But again, it shows up on the AC side. So it tells me something special is going on there. Then we got a little setting. Now it's just a little bit that's showing, right? Just a tiny bit. But the fact that it's showing and that it's blinking back and forth like that is very interesting to me. So, and like I said, for some reason when I was building this to test my idea, I was expecting perhaps to get a DC current top there for some reason. I don't know why, because of these the switching back and forth, pulling it off between these coils and how they're fucking led me to believe that perhaps, but it's not. It definitely shows up on the AC side, but I found it very, very interesting that it blinks on the DC side. Maybe this is something real common someone could explain to me. I don't know, but I found that very interesting. But there you go, showing the effect before I pull it totally apart and, and go to the um, other wheel. But I'm going to be working on it. Winding coils is what I'm going to do. I'm, lots of copper is what it's going to take for my idea. And um, not necessarily the real, real thin stuff. Like I said in the last vid, uh, I've used pretty heavy gauge copper magnet wire. And uh, didn't necessarily get the inverse lens effect, but um, it didn't slow the wheel at all to pull that power off those... Uh, that, that big wire 
and when I uh, put it through a DC, through a rectifier and metered it, it was giving me uh, a quarter of an amp, which is very cool, and not affecting the wheel at all. But anyways, very interesting. Wanted to show all this uh, before I pull it apart. Shorter video, again my apologies for the last one was so long, um, but had a lot to say there. But this is this idea and I'm going to be going with it, hope others do too, and uh, I'll be back with more. I'll talk to you later.